Around the world, Christians are persecuted and harassed in more countries than any other faith. Priests are killed. The faithful are kidnapped. Christian women are raped and forced to deny their faith. Churches are desecrated and communities forced to flee. This latest edition of Aid to the Church in Needs Persecuted and Forgotten Report examines the situation in 24 countries where the charity has found evidence of serious religious freedom violations. Persecuted and Forgotten found that in 75% of countries the report surveyed, the faithful suffered increased depression or persecution during the review period of September 2020 to September 2022. In Africa, the situation of Christians worsened with shocking evidence of a sharp increase in genocidal violence from jihadists and other militants. According to one analysis, between January 2021 and June 2022, more than 7,600 Christians were killed in Nigeria, with more than 40 killed when gunmen opened fire on St. Francis Xavier Church in Ondo State during Mass on Pentecost Sunday. In Mozambique, Al-Shabaab stepped up its indiscriminate attacks, killing Christians, emptying Christian-majority villages, and burning down churches as part of its general campaign of terror. In the Middle East, continuing migration exacerbated the crisis threatening the survival of three of the world's oldest and most important Christian communities in Iraq, Syria, and Palestine. In Syria, Al-Qaeda offshoot reportedly displaced large numbers of Christians converting homes into mosques. In Iraq, numbers have fallen from around 300,000 before the 2014 Daesh invasion to as few as 150,000. And 75 years on from the creation of the State of Israel, Christians in the West Bank have declined from 18 to less than 1% today. In Saudi Arabia and elsewhere, Christians are a silent, unseen minority, banned from publicly displaying crosses, and there is little sign of change on the horizon. In Asia, state authoritarianism has caused growing oppression against Christians in Burma, China, Vietnam and elsewhere. At its worst, freedom of religion and conscience is being strangulated, as in North Korea. Religious nationalism intensified problems for the faithful, including the Taliban's return to power in Afghanistan, which saw Christians fleeing the country in droves. In India and Sri Lanka, religio-nationalism has seen ongoing attacks against minorities. Nationalist groups have targeted Christians in places of worship, and even police have arrested believers or stopped church services. And in Pakistan, Christians and other non-Muslims are at increased risk of harassment, arrest, or violence, which in some parts of the country includes kidnapping and rape. First-hand testimony, case studies, and country regional and global analysis showing the extent to which Christians are targeted around the world. Steps to help them by the international community have often been too little, too late. Their plight is ignored and so it is that in many countries, Christians continue to be persecuted. Let us break the silence and do all we can to ensure they are not forgotten. <laughs>